Yo people, so I thought I'd do a little preview of the Derek Chisora Alexander Usyk undercard on Saturday night. It doesn't look like the greatest undercard on paper, although there are a couple fights that I'm looking forward to. And we'll get into those in a second. There is quite a few fights on the card that I'm not interested in or I don't know much about the fighters, so I'm not going to go over them. But um, the first fight that looks quite interesting and I think is maybe one of the, the fights with a big question mark over it is David Allen or Dave Allen versus Christopher Lovejoy. Um, the White Rhino, Dave Allen, the Doncaster De La Hoya, heavyweight from Doncaster, 18 wins, 5 losses, 2 draws, um, coming off a loss against David Price, I believe is his first fight back in the ring. Um, Christopher Lovejoy, coming into this fight 19-0, and 0. <laughs> um, if you delve into his record, he's only fought in Tijuana in Mexico, and I think he's only fought someone with a winning record once, but I mean, you know, if we skip past that, he's 19 and 0 with 19 knockouts, but I doubt he's, um, you know, he, his ceiling is nowhere near sort of heavyweight title contention. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. You never know. On Saturday, he might box Dave Allen's head off, but I doubt it. I, I'd probably pick Dave Allen to win this one. I'd say, yeah, definitely by, well, I'd say by a knockout. Um, maybe within the first three rounds even. Dave Allen's got some decent body shots, so maybe it'll, it'll hit him with a big shot to the body and, and Lovejoy will, you know, drop. And that will sort of be the beginning of the end for Christopher Lovejoy. Another notable fight on the card, you've got Tommy McCarthy versus Belal Lagoon for the vacant European Cruiserweight title. Um, the last time I saw Tommy McCarthy fight was against Richard Riappo, which was his last loss not too long ago, but he's had a couple fights since. And he's won all those fights since he's lost to react for um Bilal lagoon never seen him fight um decent record 25 on one i uh, checked out his loss and his loss was to uh dudu and gumbu who is a light heavyweight essentially so um, it's interesting that that's his only loss but um i think you've got to say tommy mccarthy's the favorite especially considering he's essentially the home fighter i believe he's irish tommy mccarthy but um yeah, so fighting for the European Cruiserweight title, I'm, I'm going to go with Tommy McCarthy, but that's not a very educated guess. But, you know, it is what it is. And then you've got the final bout before the main event, which is Lee Selby versus George Cambosis Jr. Um, I don't know much about George Cambosis Jr. I know a little bit about Lee Selby, but um, the reason this fight is interesting to me is uh, first and foremost because it's for it's a, it's a IBF lightweight title eliminator. So... Whoever wins this fight is going to be the mandatory for the new unified lightweight world champion Tiafimo Lopez, who's just beat Vasil Lomachenko a couple weeks back. Um, I like the build-up to this fight. This fight's been a bit... Um, the press conference and everything, it was good. It was entertaining. George Cambosis comes across as a very confident character. He's um, Australian, but obviously he's, a, he's Greek as well. He's, he's got Greek, Greek heritage. Um, I don't know much about him. But he's 18 and 0, so he's undefeated. Um, he's got aura about him. He's very confident. Um, obviously, Lee Selby, 28 and 2, um, recently lost to Josh Warrington. But I mean, he's bounced back with a couple wins. Um, but he's, you know, he's not in the prime of his career. So um, it'd be interesting to see how this fight goes. I'm going to be watching, watching out for this one. It's one to watch. So yeah, guys, that's my little preview for the Usyk Chisora undercard. Um, leave some comments below of your predictions. What fight are you most looking forward to on the undercard? So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel to stay updated with all my content. Um, turn on post notifications as well to be notified whenever I upload a video. And yeah, enjoy the fight.